Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Messina Treasures of Style and More YouTube channel. Today we will be learning the art of making the Ula Lipine. Ula Lipine, which is a ribbon lei or a ribbon ula or a ribbon necklace. So this is what we will be making today. Okay, so what we're going to need to make our ula lipine is just one of these um, so this one's a three a three meter uh, spool <laughs> a three meter spool of ribbon um, it could be any color um, this was the one that we were able to find from the reject shop so you can get them from Coles you can get ribbon at the reject shop you can get re ribbon at the two dollar shop Kmart um, we recommend to check the length so this is a three meter spool you can get shorter ones but um three meters is what we recommend for an adult it's a, probably a bit longer but it gives you space for tying up fancy ribbons at the end but i don't really do that so what we'll do is i find it easier to take the ribbon completely off the spool to begin with Um, so once we've got that, then you can fold it in half. Sorry. The end here, the end, and fold it in half. So once you've got that middle section, um, we are going to tie a knot just to make it easier for the end when you're tying, um, closing it up. So we've got our knot there. Don't really need the scissors yet, so we'll put that down here. Okay, so we've got one side on your left, one side on your right, left, right, sorry. So I am going to do a little bunny ear on my right side. Then we're gonna go around with my left side. So I've wrapped it around like that. So you've got your knot pointed towards you. You've got your bunny ear on your right. You wrap around your left one. And then you hold it in the middle here so it does not come apart. Then you form a bunny ear on your left. You thread it through the right bunny ear. Hold it in the middle and you pull the right side until it is secure. Okay. Then you repeat. So the right, you make a bunny ear, thread it through the left bunny ear, like so. Hold it in place and pull the left ribbon. Now, if you pull it too tight, it will um, warp the the ula, so it'll make it go in a curvy pattern um, instead of just straight. So make sure to keep the same um, what do you call it? Same pressure, same. <laughs> that you um, are pulling at the same width each time. Okay. And go right and bunny ear through to the left. And 
and again if you do it too loosely it'll um, have little holes in it so watch the amount of pressure the, the pulling be careful with your pulling of the ribbon because it affects the shape of your booger so we've got another bunny ear on your left threading through the right and then we pull on the right to make it tight tightness that's it be careful with the tightness of your ribbon thank you brain for working okay so now we've got the right ribbon making a bunny ear and threading it through to the left and pulling on the left to make sure that it's secure in place then the left bunny ear through the right and then pulling on the right to secure it in place my birds are working right now okay then left right bunny ear going through the left it in place by pulling it on the left. Okay, then we go left bunny ear through to right, hold and pull to secure. Um, if you see it is getting a bit tight, you can adjust it while you go through. Okay, so left bunny ear goes through the right. Wait, up to right bunny ear. <laughs> Sorry, got confused. Okay, right bunny ear securing on the left. Left bunny ear, securing on the right. Right bunny ear, securing on the left. And left bunny ear, securing on the right. Do this a few more times so I can get some slow motion and then we will speed it up. Again, adjust by pulling on the ribbons. Right, securing on the left. Securing on the right. Right. Securing the ribbon on the left. Securing it on the right. Okay, so I got jibbed. So this says it's three meters. 
this obviously shows us that it is not 20 meters. So this is showing us that I got duped. So again, important for you to check the length and make sure that you go to a reputable store so you don't get duped. So we've finished weaving the Ulalipine. We're just going to end it by threading this long bit through here, through the loop that's left. And I'm going to pull this one down so that they're both on the one side to tie a knot. Double knot to be safe. Um, then, so at the beginning we had you tie a knot so that there was a loop um, that helps with threading through your ribbon to join the ends together. It's supposed to help. <laughs> okay, I got it. So, I guess this will be more of an um, a tall name, a lipine, a bracelet, <laughs> or a very, very tiny booger for a baby, which was not very safe. But anyway, that is how you weave an ula lipine. Let me get the big one so that I can show you the difference in the sizes. So this is the full length, the actual three meter length um, ula lipine. As you can see, very long on an adult. And you can make it a little shorter so that you can have fancy bows at the end. Um, so that is how you make Ula Lipine. If you really enjoyed this video and you learned something from it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you are loving the content on the Asina Treasures of Salmore, make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of our videos. Um, thank you again for joining us and Toy Fei Loi!